Yay, it's time for Doctor Who coolness. And look, Doctor Who Adventures magazine this week has a regenerating cover. Look, it's tent with slightly Matt Smith hair. But look, look, ah, 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 I'm regenerating. Ooh, it's Matt Smith and there's a bit of tenant hair. Now it's Matt Smith, yay! Cool! Fingers. <laughs> look, look, look. Then you can have half matte, half tenant. And then tenant with <laughs> very bouffant hair. Oh my god, that looks ace. Oh, tenant's got bouffant hair. That's weird. And that, oh, that, that sort of half, matte, half tenant. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, matte, 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 tenant. So that's what I think is amazingly cool. I bought some figures this week. I don't usually buy the action in uh, Doctor Who action figures because I don't really have anywhere to put them and I'd have to collect them all too. But and I don't usually watch Classic Who but I am getting educated to it. So but I, I bought these because I love the the evolution of the design and just because of the design factor. factor. These are the Cybermen figures, and you get um, bits to make um, this guy here, and each one has the more bits to make that guy. So this one is the tube of the Cybermen from 1967. Um, this one is the invasion one from 1968. Yeah, I think these are really cool. Then, um, okay, this one is this one from 1966, Tenth Planet. Then, if you're only a fan of New Who, then you should recognise this one. It's from the next Doctor Christmas special. See, these are real cool. See, that is the Doctor Who coolness this week. But obviously Doctor Who is cool all the time. But I just picked out those particular examples of ultra cool. So lots of love and I hope you all have a great week. Thank you for watching this Friday vlog. Yay! Cool. Hey.